So, John, when most of the season were without a draw, then two come along at once. Late minute, last goal, late goal. What did you think of that game? Uh, it's a tough one, really, to, to, to try and analyse straight away because in terms of everything we, we want to be, um, playing forwards, creating opportunities, we were probably not our best. But in terms of, of, of trying to be who we were and trying to do the right things, that was there. Um, you know, we'll have a look at the stats and stuff like that in terms of, of, of shots on target. But even little half, little half chances where we weren't, you know, just weren't falling for us. Uh, it was very similar, very similar game to the Geisley game, very similar game to the Whitby game. I'm not using them games as examples because we, we we lost those games, but um, far too open on the counter attack. You know, they might look back on that. Everton and go and get you know if they get relegated and go do you know what if they wouldn't have wasted so much time that three points might keep them up because they're better than that um, and I think they, they put a real stop to the game you can call it managing the game if you want because I thought they played really well tonight I thought their work ethic was outstanding but the gamesmanship probably went a little bit too far they were having a moan at the referee at the end about about the time that was had on he was nowhere near adding the right time what he should have done on um, we got conned a little bit out of that but we've got, you know, when you're top of the league and doing as well as we've done, you've got to be able to manage situations, um, and we did. You know, the last the last 10, 12 minutes, we built pressure, we sustained pressure, um, and we got the we got the opportunities for it. But you know, listen, I won't go away and pretend that we didn't do enough to or, or create enough in the game to get something out of it because we certainly did. It's just the fact that we were two 0 down at home. Um, that's probably the disappointing bit. Yeah, we were frustrated for most of the game. About 85 minutes, we were frustrated. Then they scored their second goal, and it was almost like there was a change in the mentality of the team. What was holding them back for the rest of that game, or was it just good defending from Everton's point of view? Well, no, I, I think we created, as I said, before they scored their second goal, we're banging on the door. You know, you, the chances that we created, the ball's flashing across the goal, were there. It's just this time, you know, the one that Jordan put in is the example that, that, that Ricky sheared off his head. That, that same thing probably happened a dozen times in the game. But Jordan wasn't stood there, or Anthony Dudley or Josh Hancock weren't stood there. At that moment, he was. So, um, you know, there's a lot to be said for, for, for the fact that you're committing bodies forward, it's difficult to defend um, as the opposition when you, you've got so many bow, uh, bodies high up like we did, and you've got to have the, right, uh, the lads in the right position at the right time, which Brad Jackson was. Uh, listen, there's nothing, you, you don't, you've got to be respectful. When you're playing a team on a Tuesday night at home from second, third, bottom of the league, the expectation is to pick up three points. But if you don't work as hard as them, you don't match their the work ethic, which I thought was incredible, um, that then then you're not going to win games of football. We showed our quality in the end by getting over the line, but, but um, you know, there's, there was much more wrong with what happened tonight than there has done in previous home games. It's not the first time Brad Jackson's rescued a point. Well, he's got what the win against works up late on. But what a goal to take home a point at the end of the day. Great finish, yeah. It's what I talk about being in the right place at the right time. You know that that moment probably happened again a dozen, fifteen times. You don't remember it or recognise it because nothing came of it. At that point, it landed to him in the box, bang, he smashed it, and you could see they were devastated. They they were down on the feet. And that's why I said, don't think that the the going down after we've had a player down with an head injury, the referee sent send them to the side of the pitch and then their lad goes down. I, I get it, it's gamesmanship, but you had the win, you had all of it, you know, just 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 play the game and, and crack on with things. And they'll probably be disappointed with that. Uh, just looking ahead to next, obviously Marine come on Saturday. Did the previous two games add any pressure onto that game or is it just business as usual? Never there's pressure on every game, isn't there? You know, we we, we want to win it win every game of football, which we've done for the majority of this season. Um at this stage of the season now what, what have we got eleven games left is it I think? Eleven games to go. 12 points clear, goal difference. Um, you know, there's pressure on every game. We, we certainly put the pressure on on, on, on the team. We put I, I put pressure on Burnley, he puts it on me. So every single game's the same. Doesn't make a difference. Got a hell of a tough game. Probably doesn't get any tougher than, than Marine, who are, who are the form side in the league at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, one to look forward to.